All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to U-Boat. Now, I did save my game last time I played. For some reason, my save just didn't exist anymore. So we are back. However, we are restarting a campaign. My apologies for that. I decided, however, to instead of starting an Atlantic campaign where we're starting from that French Harbor La Rochelle, we are now starting from the German harbor of Wilhelmshaven, which is actually uh, on the North Sea. Which means that we'll be doing more patrols between Scandinavia and England, moving towards Iceland, or on the far side of Ireland, then we'll be going into the middle of the Atlantic, basically between the US and Canada and Great Britain. So here we are heading out of Wilhelmshaven. We are going to be hopefully surviving like last time, but I'll make sure to double check that I saved it at the end of this video. I'd like to thank you guys for all the support that we got on the first part. Very happy to see that you guys like this, hopefully as much as I like it. Uh, and once again, huge shout out to Lightly Salted again. I will link his channel in the description because he did help me a lot by uh, uploading his tutorial videos on eBoat. That being said, we'll be right back with you with some action. All right, we've just received an unknown transmission. It is uh, four o'clock here in the morning and we are on the North Sea. Uh, we have barely left Wilhelmshaven, so I'm kind of interested to see what the uh, transmission is going to be about. So let's skip ahead to where the radio op has actually uh, figured out what it is and check out our messages. Some of our crew show signs of scurvy. We are asking your units to share some fresh supplies of vegetables or fruit. All right, so uh, they are, <laughs> I guess we can do that. They are kind of close to base, but cool. I guess uh, what we'll do, they might just yeah, be, you know, in severe need of some food, I guess. But I mean, I guess by the time we get there, realistically speaking, they would already, you know, <laughs> they would already have gotten their help. But, you know, we, we might as well just go give it to them real quick. We'll uh, give them some food, I believe. Actually, uh, let's take a look and uh, see. I believe, oh, this looks so good. Let's take a look. I believe we do have something right here. Food-wise, we have vegetables, we have exotic fruits, we can put that over here. I'll make this like a little bit of a divider. And we do have some, we have enough stuff in our galley, we actually hit some stuff here with the flat gun, so I think we are more than okay. We'll uh, put in some extra food, and then uh, yeah, we can definitely hand off a little bit of our fruits and veggies, uh, you know, as long as that means that they're gonna not die. So, we'll uh, get back to you once we have contacted the friendly U-boat. All right, we found the U-boat uh, that needs some uh, supplies. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get close to them, make sure we uh, supply them. Looks like there's actually be guys on this deck smoking there, and they got their their captain looking out. So we'll get a close, head them over some food, and hopefully it'll be good for them that way. All right, let's send. Maybe let's not send the captain over to investigate. Let's send this other guy over to investigate. Travel to U one thousand and eight. Here goes a uh, little more Weber or George Weber. I guess, uh, oh, he's already, he's already almost there. This boat's a little going fast, eh, bud? All right. Hopefully he doesn't come back with anything weird. I guess scurvy isn't um, contagious. I believe back in the day what they would do on the uh, old, you know, day of the sea voyages where they would try and discover new lands and... I guess Magellan and Marco Polo and guys like that, they would uh, they would bring a ton of um, salted meat, because salted meat stays good for a long time, but fruits and veggies go bad, you know, especially if you're on sea for weeks or let alone months. And um, I believe scurvy, or uh, I believe in Dutch scurvy is referred to, uh, or uh, in Dutch scurvy is literally called tear tummy or tear stomach. Um, it, uh, it, it really is a deficiency of having nutrients from veggies, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, we'll, uh... Okay. I can't click on this button. This is... What? Should I... Oh, I should have given them food. No, please don't tell me that they're gonna die. Okay. What if I have this guy... I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I, I think I might have made a mistake there. This game is a, this game's kind of a very interesting sometimes. I guess I just wish I was that stupid. So we'll bring six veggies. This guy's now going to 
get his stuff. So now he has his things. Now we're gonna try and right-click again. <laughs> we're gonna travel back. I guess it's kind of realistic. Like we, you know, didn't really know what they wanted, so we're gonna go back. Be like, hey, what's going on, buddy? And now, give food. Hell yeah. Nice. There you go. I mean, it was kind of a mess. I had to set that up really quickly, but I think we managed to do it. Um, so now we got them food. We're going to, uh, I guess, set course. We want to, we want to wait for this guy to come back. It'd be really funny if we just left without this dude right now. All right, can we take? Can we see this guy come in? Let's see. Uh, leave position. Hurry up, please. It takes so long to get off this thing. Oh, look at him! There he is. Look at him. Oh, oh, he just disappeared. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think we helped out that U-boat. So they are going to be good. We are going to... Oh, look here. He is, he's like, that's so cool. Like, oh, I love the little, like, walking across the deck and stuff. Also, don't fall off, please, because you're going to die. Uh, we'll, uh, I guess, head on to the NRC and uh, come back to you when you have something to do. All right. Looks like we picked up another transmission from Command. They are very busy. We've barely left the range of U-1008, and they already have a, a new transmission for us. I guess uh, we'll send myself... And uh, Alto back to kick a rest. I like keeping him as rested as possible, and then we'll go half speed ahead, and then we'll uh, get the message here in just a second. Skip ahead for one second. There we go. And check out what they have to say for us this time. All right, one of our ships has gone missing. Really, guys? <laughs> really? All right. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. I guess we'll go take a look. Uh, I mean, with nothing else to do, and we just saved one U boat, might as well go save another. I should probably have this man check the navigation, because we're at 0%. That's really bad. And I guess we'll go full get speed out, ahead out. now. Uh, we need to, uh, there we go, get into travel mode. Bye, you boat I like how they're leaving. They should be going that way to home. We just barely gave them some, like, fruits and veggies. I guess we only give them veggies, but you know what I'm saying. All right, we have uh, just found the U-boat. Uh, that was missing so we're gonna turn our search line on and I guess what we'll do we'll turn us at very well basically turn the boat it's not the boat turn us right towards it and uh, hopefully the little bit of speed that we have left should turn us right onto them and I guess we need to figure out what's going on because there's just a, a, a u-boat here with no crew on it uh, so uh, I guess we'll send over Someone to investigate it. Let's uh, let's have the same guy go. Uh, was it Weber? Was it, yeah, it was Jorge. Hor Hor All right. Go check it out. Lost ship. I like how... Re Ooh, sustained major damage? It really makes me feel like... Um, we're like, you know, one of those... Uh, they were called milk cows, I believe. Oh, man. I, I, I hate that I'm using these videos as, like, sort of historical or... Uh, like little talks, but I believe they were called milk kua or milk cows, and they were basically uh, huge as U boats with most of their torpedoes removed. I think they only had the four torpedoes in the tubes and maybe like one or two to reload. Um, and the rest of their space was all for extra fuel, extra food, any supplies basically that you could think of that a U boat that's been out on the sea for months could need. And uh, they would then go around and supply other U-boats that are actually on patrol uh, with their supplies so they could stay in on their patrols for longer. Initially, the Germans used surface ships, uh, but yeah, after a certain time, you know, 40, 42, 43, that became too risky because the surface ships were just easy targets for, uh, you know, allied planes to, to find and then especially to take down. I guess uh, Ork has found something. Corpses of sailors with dried blood flowing out of their eyes and lips. Damaged by a mine which led to the flooding of the batteries in the boat which released chlorine gas and... Okay, so... We don't have... Okay, what we could do... We could sink the ship. Which is now, I guess, our objective. So let's have him come back so we don't blow him up. Could we now send someone else... Okay, so we could send an engineer to investigate and mine the ship, right? Oh, hello. All right, he's going to go over. I'm assuming he's going to discover the bodies for a second time, which I'm assuming he will be. All right, he's going to mine the ship, which hopefully uh, blows it up. And then uh, what we'll do, we'll wait for him to come back on board. Maybe we'll... Uh, we're kind of close, but we'll be all right. 
All right, it's coming back. Oh, wow. All right, well, that one's gone. <laughs> well, I think I would just suck. I expected that explosion to be a little bit bigger, but I guess so we'll take over. Leaf position. We'll have to uh, disable this light because we're kind of obvious. And then we'll keep on going. Uh, I suppose we cleared that up. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, so milku or milk cows, and the idea behind them was that they would basically be, uh, you know, they would resupply U-boats at sea, but they would be able to do it a lot more sneakingly than, you know, obviously a huge-ass server ship would be able to do. Uh, and I kind of feel like that's what we've been doing. We've been resupplying U-boats, we've been checking them out, we just blew one up. Uh, and I guess, realistically speaking, that wouldn't really be a task for a milk cow U-boat. But at the same time, if he's if he's nearby, um, you know, they might as well go on and make sure that no Enigma machines or any secret documents on board one of those boats would ha fall into the hands of the Allies. So I guess blowing them up does make the most sense. Uh, we'll make sure these guys are just going to keep resting. And then uh, we'll be back when we have something actually happening that's not just like us resupplying uh, friendly boats.